Welcome to Your School News. I'm Riley Peterson. And I'm Araceli Lima Duran. Today's headlines include Murray Middle School holds regional science fair, Hoggard student wins poetry out loud contest, and one student teams up with a local nonprofit to bring therapy dogs to a school campus. Our top story this week Murray Middle School is holding their regional science fair. YSN reporter Johanna Carey is in the field and standing by now to bring us all the details. Joanna, how's it going out there? Hey, thanks so much. I'm here at Murray Middle School for the Regional 2020 Science Fair. I've already interviewed a few students and here's what they have to say. What I like about Science Fair is that you can pick any topic you want and research it and then you get like really interesting results sometimes. Sometimes you don't, however, it's not really the results, it's the experience that you have uh, making this project. Science Fair, uh, well, it's a rite of passage really, uh, if you think about it. Uh, students doing their own experiments on questions that either they're coming up with or they've seen somewhere and uh, really investigating those questions, uh, creating their own hypothesis and uh, trying to figure out what's going on and then using that investigation to come to that conclusion. Uh, we also have engineering projects uh, where they're designing a solution to a, a problem uh, or something that they see uh, could use the solution and uh, they're going through that design process and making a prototype and testing it and then reevaluating, coming to that you know conclusion. It was really cool. I mean, I personally think dissection, looking at all that is really interesting and it was a fun way to have um, an opportunity to get to do that. And also the experimentation process and being able to explore something that we're both really interested in to allow us to show like, yes, we hear about this all of the time on the news and it might not seem like an actual issue, but it is, and it is affecting us even in our little city. And once you are done with like a project like one of these, it just gives you a brief satisfaction. For example, solving the Rubik's Cube or something, solving a puzzle, anything like that. So that's the real purpose to Science Fair when I think of it and I just like the satisfaction when you finish something and yeah, that's it yeah. for me. Yeah, uh, the thing that I like about Science Fair is just the whole process overall and just like, it's basically just like a learning process and it just, every time you, uh, you, uh, you're done with the Science Fair you just want to keep on improving and keep on doing better to get to the next level and that's what I like about Science Fair. Reporting from Murray Middle School, I'm Johanna Carey from Your School News. The class president over at Hoggard High School is trying to make finals week less stressful for students with some friendly canines. Julian Hill recently teamed up with Four Paws and Wake Up NC, a therapy dog nonprofit to make it happen. School staff was also on board with the effort. Dogs made their way into the media center bright and early and allowed students to pet them and talk with them. Hill says he believed therapy dogs will make a big difference when it comes to test stress and anxiety. So when I first became president, uh, I was thinking of what can I do to help out Hoggard and how can I make it big. And I've seen therapy dogs on the news before and I've seen them in colleges and in elementary schools, but I haven't seen them in any type of high schools. And I feel like stress is at the almost peak in high school, not only with finals, but with also social things. And so I think if we brought therapy dogs to a high school, it would really de-stress the students for finals and, and make everyone feel a lot better and having them where they, they're really needed. Poetry Out Loud brought eight contestants from Hoggard, Ashley, and New Hanover High to Minnie Evans Auditorium this year. But in the end, Marie Benson from Hoggard took the big win. She will, go on, she will go on next to compete at the state level on February 22nd in Greensboro. Poetry Out Loud is a national arts education program that encourages the study of great poetry by offering free educational materials and a dynamic recitation competition to high schools across the country. This program helps students master public speaking skills, build self-confidence, and learn about literacy, history, and contem contemporary life. Poetry Out Loud is a partnership of the National Endowment for the Arts. Poetry Foundation, and the state and jurisdic jurisdictional arts agencies. New Hanover County Schools is the recipient of the North Carolina Department of Public Instruction, NCDPI, Center for Safer Schools, 2019-2020 School Safety Grant. 
The safety grant will provide over $600,000 in financial resources to allow for the district to fund school resource officers to help upgrade radio communications. The grant will also enable the district to increase partnerships with Coastal Horizons communities in schools of the Cape Fear and the New Hanover County Resiliency Task Force. NHCS Director of Student Support Services Kristen Jackson says that this grant allows New Hanover County Schools to continue to support our students' emotional and physical safety in conjunction with our community partners. Through community partnerships, the district will be able to provide a trauma-informed licensed professional to students K-12. through NHCS will also expand current trauma-sensitive schools, training to five more schools and offer two-day resilience training for educators to provide them with tools to ease stress and secondary trauma. New Hanover County Schools will host a business fair for minority and women-owned business leaders on Thursday, January 23rd, 2020, from 2.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. at New Hanover County's Board of Education Center, located at 1805 South 13th Street. District leaders from facility planning and construction, maintenance operations, transportation, child nutrition, technology, and purchasing departments will be available to answer questions about their specific divisions. Guests will learn about bidding opportunities on service and purchasing contracts with the school district. Information will be provided on bidding requirements and procedures by the participating departments. A representative from the NC Department of Administration will share information on the advantages of becoming an HUB certified business and documentation required for the application process. Attendees will benefit from networking opportunities to highlight their business with district leaders and other industry professionals. Pursuant to school board policy 5312, New Hanover County Schools is committed to encouraging the participation of minority businesses in the school system's construction contracts. For more information about the minority and women-owned business fair, contact Eddie Anderson, Assistant Superintendent of Operations for New Hanover County Schools at eddie.anderson at nhcs.net or call 910-254-4243. This is your school news on cable and online. Look for our blue logo on for, for all the latest news online at www.nhcs.net. Also make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Welcome back to your school news. I'm Riley Peterson. And I'm Araceli Lee Maduran. It's time for our brand new What's Tweeting segment. It's a look at the top NHCS stories on Twitter. Our first story comes from, to us from Murrayville Elementary. On January 14th, third and fifth graders from Murrayville Elementary School held their family code night. Here are a few photos from the big event. Family Code Night is a school-wide family event that helps spark coding and computer science learning in families, staff, and students. The program helps them learn what coding is and teaches them how to code, while also providing a fun and educational experience. Did you know that the SDA students at Laney High School have and run their own coffee shop? Now, can you take a guess at who their biggest clients are? You got it, their very own SRO officers. The officers are the biggest clients at the Buck a Cup coffee shop. Stop by and grab a cup of Joe when you get a chance. We appreciate and thank every law enforcement officer for their hard work here in the Wilmington community. Fourth grade students at Eden Elementary had the opportunity to experience a live performance from the North Carolina Symphony on the 16th. Although founded 88 years ago, their goals still remain the same. The NCS are an honored and big part of North Carolina's cultural life. The symphony holds around 300 concerts a year around North Carolina and its educational programs and community engagement events are loved and enjoyed by all ages. NCS leads in education programs of any symphony orchestra serving around 700,000 students per year. Switching gears now. Our next special feature report comes from us comes to us from Ogden Elementary. Let's toss it over to their anchors for that. 
The students in Ms. Pitstick's first grade class have been learning about what it takes to make dreams come true. This integrated unit encourages students to explore their own personal goals for the future while considering what leaders in the past have done to reach their goals. Growth mindset, seven habits of happy kids, social studies research, reading and writing are all skills developed in this project. Students more closely invested Martin Luther King Jr. and how he followed his dreams. After learning about his ideas, students discuss their own ideas for making the world a better place. These first graders are realizing that no dream is too big and no dreamer is too small. Check out these amazing books we read in this unit to piece things together. Pass it on. Peace is an offering. All are welcome. I am human. What do you do with a problem? What do you do with a chance? What do you do with an idea? And Martin's big words. Dream is to not bully people. My dream for the future is to go on the moon. My dream for the future is to not brag to people. My dream for the future is to help. We are dreamers! This is your school news on cable and online. Look for our blue logo for all the latest news online at www.nacs.net. Also make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.